What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. You guys should be seeing this video on Sunday, perhaps Saturday if something goes catastrophically wrong. Uh, at this current moment in time, I am probably massively unassigned in Bundesliga rares. If I'm not, you'll see loads of fun packs from League SBC system today. If I am, uh, this is your this is your video for today. We're going to have a mid-icon pack. We're going to see, hope like there's about four or five players I would love. Pele, Cruyff, Eusebio, Ronaldo, Hullet. Any of those five get into my team to replace Eden Hazard. Anyone else is just going to go into the club and be used for absolutely nothing some other time. Um, if you guys are enjoying the content, you wouldn't mind dropping a thumbs up on the video. It'd be very much appreciated. And let's hope. Let's just hope, man. I haven't done many icon packs, so I don't particularly deserve anything. But let's hope our, our next mid icon, just show me a flag that's going to make me at least somewhat interested. Argentinian. Striker. It's Crespo, isn't it? It's Crespo. That's such a dead card. That is such a dead card. And that is why when people were like telling me I should put my untradeable team of the seasons into icon packs, I was like, guys, it's just not worth it. I mean, this is this is such a poor card for the current standard of the game. Um, but there you go. Our mid icon pack, guys, is there. Let's get in to the video. Oh, Jesus Christ. Verstegen, Ramos and Fekir. And Son. That is despicable, EA. Let's go, man. Let's go, Hazard, man. Hey, GG's, boys. GG's. That, that, as I said to you guys, that was one of those games that was the, uh, a weekend league defining game for me. That's a game that last weekend I would have lost, 100%. I didn't particularly play good FIFA, but I still managed to see out the win, so I'm happy with that. Um, Benzin with the goal. Hazard with the goal. Ramos on Regulon with the assists. Um... Yeah, that, that, I mean, that guy's team was was insane. Thoughts on Hummels? He looks brilliant, man. All right, next game. I don't drink water. He's still got PK. Oh, he's, oh my man's a big fan of the grind. A big fan of the grind. He's got that 98 uh, Sadio. Uh, thank you for the hundreds coming in, bros. Thank you for the subs today as well. Just so you guys know, little uh, little little plug real quick. That pass was for inwards for De Bruyne or whoever that was. That'd be a goal. There we go. Back in it. <laughs> I still want to look back at that and show you guys what I did because it's really frustrating the way it, the way it works. That's a really nice goal. A bit of running room now on the wing. And teammates to play it to. De Bruyne. Now with Benzema. Go Benzema. Come on. Again, not where I've aimed that ball. God damn it, man. This might be ideal for the counter. <sighs> You're kidding me off of that. That is a fucking joke. That's devastating, that is. That's devastating. He doesn't, I didn't deserve to lose that. That's, uh, like, his first goal and his third goal were unbelievable. Like, literally, like, mind-blowingly unbelievable. Right? And I'll tell you why. I'll, I'll, I'll show there. I, I just... I mean, look at that. Oh, I mean... Oh. 
My man had three, four attacks the whole game. Four attacks the whole game, man. We've eaten, we've refueled. Surely we should be able to beat this guy. It's a nice team. Effective pressure to regain possession. I must say, this looks promising. Cross. Here's Mares. Azar. Now we're bent. Lovely. Benzema's finishing is literally next level. Let's go. This, this, uh, <clears throat> this guy stayed true to his game plan the whole game. 4-4-2, four, four, eight men behind the ball. All, all 90 minutes. Hey man, I respect it. <laughs> what I wonder I wonder what enjoyment he got out of that. He had one attack the whole game. Alright, next up. That's a nice team, man. That's a nice team. That Aka and Roberto Carlos are a bit behind the power curve. Maybe Kante and Guardiola are too, but other than that, that's nice. Yo, Boz, thank you for the uh Prime man. Uh I am Brad, thank you for the hundred uh, hundred bits, dude. Let's go, man. GG's, boys. That's two 1 0 wins in a row where we've absolutely smashed our opponent. The guy had two shots the whole game. It's my fault for not getting. Look, apparently, guys, this is. This is apparently, this is my fault. This is team of the season, Benzema. No one near him. Now, first of all, I could just shoot this across the keeper here, right? Sure. How is he missing that? That's team of the season, Benzema. That has to hit the top. He's not got a defender within like three yards of him. He moved his keeper loads. That's why I missed. If his keeper saved it, I'm fine. Right? If it, if the keeper gets a glove to that and tips it around, I take responsibility. I'm like, okay, damn, he moved his keeper. I should have shot across the goal. The fact that Benzema just misses, I mean, yeah. If I, again, if I hit if I hit this across the goal here, that goes in. But that that should just let the keeper save it. Calm. But putting it wide because he moved the keeper is stupid. Next game. Jesus Christ, look at that red Neymar. Oh, my days. What a team that is. What a team that is. So ranking is a misnomer then? Yeah, literally doesn't mean... Any well, it's it's for your rewards. It's ranking for rewards, not for anything else. Good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Benzema. Excellent. Really of those danger signs by the... Come on. There we go. Be lucky to get that ball back there with Mares. <clears throat> As Diego Carlos. I like it. I like my team a lot, man. I just lack a five star skiller. Like, I think Benzema, it, like, he's good. He finishes a lot. Not that miss there, but yeah, Benzema's generally good. I just need to, uh, I need to improve Benzema to somebody who's more meta. Or I just need to get better at FIFA. the one let's go <clears throat> oh i like it a lot i like it a lot i just don't like being lied to hey man that's cheese as well he tackled me there so fair's fair in this game i'm gonna be four one up or four nil down it doesn't matter just miss them all what do you mean, dual shot disconnected? How is not? It's still, it's still connected. I feel like the price there at like seventeen to eighteen hundred now. Oh my days! He's got red Suarez, ninety three Hullet, birthday Hazard, but then some weird other players outside of that. 
while I'm on the john. The Serbia robbing all the trucks. Come on, Cruz. Let's go, baby. Good game in the bag. That guy's team was solid. And he was eight men, nine men in the box for the whole game, man. I never meant... My well, Black made eight saves. They're, I bet he didn't have eight shots, though. They're all catches from corners. I never meant to... Yo, mine. Marston. Thanks for something to the stream, baby. Welcome to Team Sweat, bro. All right, this is my next opponent. Oh, he's got that Kyson card. In before, that card slaughters me. Neps, where you play carb, not so. See, I thought that no bots, right? But I was watching today. Who was I watching today? I was watching somebody play today, and their camera was further further out than mine. And so I don't think I'm playing on. I I, I think I'm playing on telebroadcast. I might not be. I don't know. But I, this isn't as broad, as wide out. Uh, yo, actually, thank you very much for the uh, gifted to the channel, man. That's the one. That's what I needed Suarez for. That's where Suarez beats Benzema. That little agility. The, the fake shot inside. That agility is the what we needed there. That's what we needed. Hey, GG's, boys. GG's. Might have to consider playing a little different way, man. You know what I mean? Anyone would think he was one up. You know what I'm saying, man? Hey, Giggsy, thank you for the 16 months, man. Hey, thank you very much, man. And thank you for the, uh, thank you for the resub, my bro. I appreciate that. Honestly, just such a boring game. All right, to end off today's video, guys, um, I actually just want to have a bit of a chat with you about FIFA, I suppose. Um, first of all, I sold Karen Benzema. Um, he was just too heavy. I've lost five games now this weekend, um, 17 and 5, which is respectable. Um, of the five games I've lost, uh, three of them have been to just good players in even games where I didn't take my chances. And two of them have been to players that I felt like I was considerably better than where I let myself down with bad choices and just bad game mechanics hurting me. So, you know, on another weekend league here, I'm 19 and 3 and pushing for Elite 3 comfortably towards Elite 2. Uh, but on this weekend as it is, you know, we're, not, we're 17 and 5. And the, the push for Elite is there. Just need to go 6 and 2. It's no big deal. Um, but I'm not... And this is why I want to talk about FIFA a little bit. I'm not enjoying the game at, at this level. You know, the like you'll see a lot of one nil wins from me. Uh, and Benzema in those games was just in those tight games cost me a couple of times because he's just heavy. His agility and balance, even though it's quite high, is still just a bit of a problem. So when I got Luis Suarez, a bit better, well, much better balance, a bit better agility, and just generally feels like a better player. Hilariously, he's performing worse, six goals in seven games, whereas Benzema was like uh, 18 games in total or something like that, or 15 games in total, and had like like 17 or 18 goals and like 14 assists or something you know he had like a really really good return um but obviously he got the luxury of playing in the first 10 to 12 games of foot champs where it was really easy and we were scoring goals for fun against lesser players but since we've been getting up to the higher elo ranks 10 12 or more um you know one at that point it comes down to fortunate matchmaking or unfortunate matchmaking and then decision making and um to be uh to be 17 and 5 I'm happy with it's not it's not perfect still a lot to work on and one thing that I feel like I'm really struggling with this uh this game cycle right now is hilariously my offensive play I feel like it's like just weak I like I, I, I'm not it's just something's not clicking with me and I don't know what it is uh you know I was scoring a lot of goals when I was on that whole 424 fast build-up thing that's not how I want to play FIFA though um but uh this weekend league has just been a really really tough time against people like I'm not even I'm not even kidding and and uh, like but th there was a comment on stream where it said I don't think I've ever seen somebody come up against so many drop back one depth players as Nep does and it it has been a case this weekend of every opponent bar maybe three or four have been eight men in the box constantly and me just trying to break them down and because I'm not clicking for me attacking wise it's it's taking me eight ten twelve fifteen attempts or fifteen attacks to get a goal or even a clean shot on goal. 
and that's just not good enough, you know. So um, regardless of where we finish this weekend, league, I don't know if I'm going to play all the games out. I don't know if I'm going to play just a gold one. I don't know if I'm going to hit elite, you know, like six and two from eight games isn't necessarily terrible. But a lot of the games that I've won, even like I played a guy, right? <laughs> Let me show you. I played a guy on stream and uh, well, th this guy here, he, he went, uh, oh, it, it's so, it was such a frustrating game. He went 2-1 up with, just with bad game mechanics, right? Just really, really bad deflections and tackling people and so on and so forth. Last 10 minutes, I went all out attack to try and get it back in. He scored three late goals, shushing, dabbing, watching replays, then messages me afterwards. So I give him a GG well played. Of course, he gives nothing back. Um, but this, this guy here, he was unbelievably hard to break down, right? Eight men in the box was doing all the ball rolls, the drag backs, everything that you associate with a gold one slash elite tier player. And um, afterwards, I was like, holy crap, that guy was so good. Let me message him. So I was like, Gigi, man, what's your current record? Where do you usually place? He said he's 12 for 11. And he usually goes for gold two. Uh, sometimes gold two, gold three. So a gold three or gold two player was causing me so many problems offensively because they were so deep and I'm not playing well offensively. Um, and so uh, it's, it's just... It is really, really proving, you know, I'm winning games 1-0 or 2-1 or just very narrowly 2-0 by late goals against lower players because I just can't figure out a way to score goals. Um, so I've got, to, I've got to change something there. I've got to, I've got to get better attacking-wise. But this game, I can feel it. This weekend, I've seen uh, Fuji was 18-7. and seven. Uh, He is a top 100 level player in previous FIFAs. At the very least, a high-tier high, high -tier elite player. Bateson, with his God Squad, finished 22 and 8 this weekend league. Finished gold 1, of course, and he's a high tier player. Uh, Nick, right now, is actually doing really well. He's 15 and 4 and 1 0 up. And I was 16 and 4 as well, and now I'm 17 and 5, so I've gone 1 for 1 since. Um, but this weekend, either the gameplay just feels unbelievably bad for some reason or another, or the standard of FIFA player is just much higher, much sweatier, or. I've just lost an, an edge. And I'm happy to accept that I might have lost an edge. I felt like I was playing good FIFA this, coming into this uh, weekend league to the tune where I actually got up into Division 2 in Division Rivals. So, you know, whilst doing objectives, we managed to take ourselves from like 1,500 to 1,714 ELO. We're pushing up towards Division 1. We're in Division 2. And I thought, yeah, that's, that's banging that is. You know, we're playing good FIFA um we, we're getting it i'm being way more patient i'm trying to do the right things at the right time and it still got me to a point where i'm 17 and 5 which is about no different to what's norm, norm normality for me we can pull up to 25 wins wouldn't surprise me if i ended up finishing 21 or 22 you know getting four or five wins and four or five losses from this point onwards just it's just the way it goes sometimes but it's getting to be quite late on sunday night it's currently 8 p.m 12 hours left, so obviously the later I leave, leave my games, the more pressure on me, but also opponents that just back out a lot quicker and whatnot and so on and so forth. I don't know where we'll go with that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to sit here and just say to you, like, I can feel after playing this weekend league like this, I can feel the mental draining of playing constant drop back one depth counter-attacking FIFA. It's just, it it's not fun. And it does bring me back to the first few weeks of FIFA. We, we played... The first four weeks, we played all of Foot Champs. Since then, on PlayStation, I've never played 30 games of Weekend League again. That's it. On PC, I did it once, and I finished 22 and 8. Um, like, I, I'm remembering now why not only did I not even play to Gold 1, uh, sorry, Gold 3 uh, pre over the weeks and months, I remember why I even just stopped playing generally. There were a few Weekend Leagues where I literally didn't even play, or sometimes I just got to 11 wins just to get the wins and, and guarantee the qualification for the next week. And I'm starting to remember what I've got a brilliant team. This team is absolutely fantastic. It's all first owner except Luis Suarez, right? There's brilliant, brilliant players here. Mares is fantastic. Hazard is good. I love Cruz and De Bruyne. I love Suarez. I love the team. I love the setup. I just hate, like genuinely hate, the way that you're forced to play if you want to try and push for elite. If you, if I'm happy to go gold two slash gold one, build a fun team, play with fun tactics, and just take those losses on the chin then I probably would enjoy myself more and still get average rewards anyway. Um, but because I'm like, you know, I've got a few things going on. Like I want to prove to my viewers, hey, I'm, you know, I'm good enough. I'm an elite player. I want to prove to myself I'm an elite player. And I'm just, I'm a competitive person. You know, I want to win every game of play. I don't want to give myself a disadvantage in any way, shape or form. Um, and so it's very hard to just let that go and be like, ah, whatever. 
Um, and so, I, as I say, 17 and five right now. I may play on. I may not. I, I don't know. If, if I'm if I'm playing a couple of games and I'm just it's just not fun and, and intense and whatnot, I'll just call it a day at gold one. We'll just leave it there. Um, and, and work on it and go again and hopefully next week have either a, a different or improved team or a different mindset and an improved set of tactics to go with it uh, but this is going to be the end of the video for today guys so if you did enjoy it be sure to leave a like rate to comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but for now guys i'm out peace